Today's readings are about faith. The assurance about things that we hope for. Things that no eye has seen. And yet, things that are to deliver us certain realities. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, addressing us on the subject of faith, Abraham is held before us as a great example of the men of faith. Holding on to God's promise, he leaves his fatherland, journeys to an unknown land, believing in the God who had made the promise. His wife Sarah conceives, and Abraham can start dreaming of the fulfillment of the promise that he will be a father of many nations. Though all this is not fulfilled in Abraham's life, he believed that in his heavenly homeland, he will be what God promised him. If Abraham lived by faith and walked by faith and witnessed to the faith that he had in God's word of promise. Our gospel speaks to us about how our faith can be challenged. In the gospel, we encounter the absence of faith amongst the disciples of the Lord. It is evening and our Lord has finished teaching the multitudes. He gets on a boat and they sail to the other side of the sea. Tired, he falls asleep. All of a sudden, there is a storm and the boat is being tossed around by the storm. And the disciples call upon him, Do you not care that we are about to perish? They wake him up. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today's gospel evokes the memory of that lone figure Pope Francis, on the 27th of March last year, when the Pope led the world in a prayer service, praying during the time of a pandemic, leading a virtual crowd the Pope stood on an empty St. Peter's Square. And he said on that day, the words of the gospel sound very true. It is evening, and the evening seems to go on and on. The pandemic has brought darkness, despair, pain, suffering, and death. And we feel like the disciples on the boat. And yet in the boat, we have forgotten that the Lord himself is with us. He who is the Lord of life, the Lord of the universe, the one who calms 
the storms in our lives. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the pandemic is not yet over. We, as it were, are all in the boat. And it is being tossed around. And we are sinking. And it's at this time that we ought to be courageous to call out to the Lord in faith so that he may calm the storm and that we may bear the evening knowing we are in the presence not only of the teacher the great man of wisdom and eloquence, but we are in the presence of God, the Savior of the world. <laughs>